I'm gonna let this screenshot marinate for a little for a little bit. I know many of you have never read in the book of Psalm 3729. But this is pretty much what it says. And we will be taking a look at various translations to back this up. This is not just taken from one translation. Just so you know, and if you've ever seen this podcast, you know that's how I roll. I don't use just one translation when talking about the Bible. I use multiple translations to prove a point. You have an opportunity to try to prove me wrong. You can try to prove me wrong. Okay? Now, you saw it. Psalm 37, 29. It says, the righteous will possess the earth and will live on it forever. Now, if you've been taught wherever you go, whatever religious building you attend on whatever specific day that you attend, many of you have never read this scripture. Unfortunately, many others of you have probably don't even, couldn't even find some. And I'm not saying it to put you down, but I'm just saying, you know, I talk to a lot of people, so I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this scripture refutes the teaching that many religions teach that all good people, all righteous people go to heaven. This scripture clearly, clearly states that righteous people will be living on earth, which means the earth is going to be here forever for righteous people to be able to live on it. Now, I don't know who your pastor, spiritual advisor, guru, or whoever you see in these days for your spiritual enlightenment happens to be. But if you have one of those things called a, a Bible, uh, and if you've never opened it, you might want to consider doing so. Because there's a lot of good information that pertains to not just you, but myself and billions of others around the world. My purpose is to get you to open it. And I will do whatever it takes to try to get you to do that. Now, I may not come across as Mr. Mr. Charm, Mr. Charismatic. That's not my job. My job is to get you, my responsibility, my obligation is to get you to open it up and read it for yourself. Stop listening to a bunch of, whether it's online, whether it's on the street, stop listening to a bunch of individuals that can't take you to the Bible and show you what it actually says. Sit down across from you one-on-one -on -one and show you what it says. Psalm 37, 29. And most of you read the King James. Now, here we see a lot of different translations. The King James is just one of many. And this is not even half of them. I just selected these at random. I put an, a red underline and a red arrow to show you that they all say the same thing in different ways. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. Now, I don't know what you think forever is, but from what I've learned in my 60 plus years of living, forever is a long time. It's a long, long time. The Christian Standard Bible says, uses the term permanently permanently. Another one says forever and ever. It's talking about the righteous here. Now, notice what it did not say. Not one of these scriptures say anything about heaven. And I got here, Jesus quoted from this scripture at Matthew 5, 5, where he said, the meek shall inherit the earth. Uh, many of you have heard or read that, right? Jesus stated that the meek shall inherit the earth or the land. Huh. Now, are you calling him a liar? 
Now, I challenge all of you Geno Jennings lovers out there <laughs> to go to your Bibles and look this up. And Gino will never mention the scripture in his church or any sermon. He will never mention mention it, as well as thousands and thousands of other pastors around the world that brainwash people into thinking that every good person go to heaven. People refuse to read this because they don't want to believe this. They rather hinge on every word that some human being is telling them. Well, <laughs> you do you. If that's how you want to live, you do you. I'm here to show you what the scriptures say and keep it moving. Now, there will be those that go to heaven. If you visited this channel before, I've got videos that actually take you to the Bible and show you specifically how many will be going and why they will be going. It's up to you to actually take the time, make the effort, and tune in. Excuse me. So with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Let me get some water because I feel a bit parched. <laughs>